Mary, Mother of God, Mother of Jesus, our Mother. The first Marian dogma of the Church affirms that Mary is the Mother of God. The most perfect creation that God made was the Blessed Virgin Mary, all beautiful, all pure, all holy, immaculate, the Mother of God. And many will say, how can it be that God, who is uncreated, has a mother? The answer is that the uncreated God joined his divine nature to human nature in Jesus, and therefore he needed to have a mother to be like one of us, true God and true man. If we cannot recognize Mary as the mother of God, then we cannot say that Jesus is God. Then, Mary is the mother of Jesus. Jesus is God. Mary is the mother of God. In the same way that a man idealizes a woman in his mind, hoping to find her someday to be his wife, God conceived in his mind the perfect woman, one that before the creation of the human race was totally consecrated for him. He chose her to be his most holy mother, to be his beloved daughter, and to be his most adored spouse. And apart from that personal relationship between God and the creature in the hypostatic union, God consecrated Mary to be the mother of all his children in grace, the new creation. In the vision of the man, the ideal woman is one who closely resembles his mother, one who could be his companion, his wife, and a woman who will be the mother of his children. God created Mary with the special purpose of making her his heavenly abode, his own heaven, his delight above the glory received from all the angels and saints. Mary is a unique woman, so much that the Proto-Evangelium calls her the woman. Jesus considers her not only his mother, but also the woman. And thus he calls her by this great name, woman. When she moves him to start his evangelization through the first miracle that she asks, in John 2 verse 4, woman, what is that to you and to me, my hour? has not yet come. But Jesus answers the call of his mother, the woman, and begins his ministry. And in John 19, verse 26, Jesus on the cross calls Mary woman. When looking at his mother and his beloved apostle John, standing near her, he says, Woman, behold your son. He really says, Mother, we fulfilled our mission by accomplishing the redemption of humanity. I as Redeemer and you as co-redemptrix. Now, you fulfill the mission as mother of God's children. This woman was destined to be the new Eve, mother of all the children of God in grace. Therefore, God created her in such an equal way as the Immaculate Conception. The only human being who was born free from original sin. As first fruits of the new creation, Mary is destined to be the new house of God in matter. That is, God being spirit comes to dwell in his creatures and chooses Mary as the first of all, making her his mother, mother of the new creation, the new Eve, whose children will be children of God. Jesus is the firstborn of God, and we are the rest of the children of God, who in Jesus and Mary receive the power to become children of God, children of grace, redeemed from original sin and destined to be purified in the precious blood of Christ for eternal salvation. Mary is the perfect woman, who with her littleness, her humility, considers herself to be the handmaid of the Lord, and for this she is the beloved daughter of God the Father. 
Mary is the perfect woman who, by being free from the stain of original sin, is the only woman worthy of being the mother of the Son of God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Mary is the woman chosen by God to be the spouse of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit takes Mary as his spouse and consumes the hypostatic union of God with the human race, uniting the spirit with matter, overshadowing her with his spirit, causing her to conceive without human intervention, divine only, keeping her a virgin, even as fruit of this union, the conception of Jesus through God and through man. The sexual union of marriage of a man and a woman causes conception in matter, a female egg and a male sperm that form the union of the chromosomes that initiate human life. However, in the Blessed Virgin Mary, the miracle of the divine conception occurs without human intervention. Mary contributes with her humanity. God contributes with his spirit, and thus she conceives miraculously. She becomes pregnant as the mother of God, man. The mystery of the incarnation challenges the intellectuality of human beings, but it is the miracle by which God becomes man. Matthew 11 verses 25 and 26. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever, and revealing them to little children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Jesus is King, Lord and Father of all mankind in grace. Likewise, Mary is Queen and Lady and Mother of the whole human race in grace. Jesus is King because there is no being above Him. He is the Lord because everything belongs to Him. Everything has been created by Him and for Him, and He decides with His creation as He pleases. He is Father because all human beings were conceived in His sacred humanity. Therefore, He is the new Adam, our eternal Father. The Holy Trinity has granted great privileges to the Virgin Mary, according to His righteousness. For He has raised from the dust the humble slave of the Lord. He has dressed her with light, majesty, and glory. He has adorned her with all the divine attributes. He has filled her with His perfections. He has crowned her queen lady and mother of all the redeemed humanity created in grace. Jesus as King has made his mother Mary, Queen of heaven and earth. Jesus could not be in a throne where Mary doesn't reign, because she is mother of the King, and her royal title is assumed. Then the Virgin Mary participates of that gift of the divinity in a unique way. Just as a man here on earth joins a woman and the two become one, the fortune of the husband becomes the wife's fortune. They are one before men and even one in the eyes of God, on earth as it is in heaven. Mary took part in the hypostatic union of God with man. As the spouse of the Holy Spirit, she is one with God, God in her, and she is in God. Echoing the words of Jesus in John 17, verse 21, he says, So that all may be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also be in us. God begins his union with man in Mary 
So Mary participates in all the attributes of the divinity. Mary is queen of heaven and all creation because the Holy Trinity has exalted her to his throne. In fact, she is the throne of the Holy Trinity, the mystical city of God, our mother Zion, the highest mountain on the Holy Land of God's people. Mary provided the body and blood of Christ. God provided the divinity, which is embodied in Mary. Mary contributed with human matter for the formation of Christ in her womb. God contributed with the Spirit, and thus the body of Christ was conceived in Mary without human male intervention. From the beginning of her life, Mary was destined to be co-redemptrix, since the blood of Christ is the same blood of Mary, which was shed for the forgiveness of sins. When we receive the Holy Eucharist, we truly receive the body and blood of Christ. So, we truly receive the body and blood offered by Mary for our redemption. The only thing that saves human beings is the grace of God. Mary was completely full of grace during her Immaculate Conception. Remember that the angel called her full of grace, and Mary gave birth to Jesus, full of grace and truth. Grace is the great favor of God for mankind. Mary is the mother of grace. So Mary is also the channel of the grace of God, that is, mediatrix of grace. Explicitly speaking, no grace comes to the world except through Mary, period. So much that in Genesis 3 verse 15, God doesn't tell Satan, I will send my son to crush your head. What he says is, I will send a woman. And he refers to the Blessed Virgin Mary. She will crush your head, and you shall bruise her heel by the crucifixion, agony, and death of Jesus. This means that the grace of God only came to the world through Mary, she being the only creature who has not offended God with sin. For this reason, she is superior to all the angelic creation, since a third of the angels rebelled against God. And Mary conceived without sin is superior in sanctity to all human beings, because we all have sinned. Being in a position so treasured by God, Mary is our intercessor, advocate, defender, and benefactor. For this reason, God allowed the first miracle at the wedding of Cana to occur at the request of Mary, and so she also holds the arm of divine justice with motherly mercy. Just as on earth a mother defends her children, swashbuckling, well, Mary, our Heavenly Mother, defends us and fights for our salvation. Many do not accept Mary as Mother of God, nor as our Mother. But since the fall of Adam and Eve, we had the first good news, the Proto-Evangelium, Genesis 3, verse 15, which tells of the woman who will crush the head of the devil. The Virgin Mary, with her holiness, destroyed the plans of the devil, giving birth to Jesus, the light of the world, who came to conquer death, sin, the devil, the world, and the flesh. And her cousin Elizabeth told Mary in Luke chapter 1, verse 43, And why is this granted me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Saint Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, with the greeting of Mary. At that moment, John the Baptist, the baby inside Elizabeth's womb, leaped for joy. In the vision of the Spirit, Saint Elizabeth recognized that the Virgin Mary would not only be mother, being a virgin, but also that this was a miracle of the Holy Spirit 
and the creature in her womb was the same God, their Lord, and ours. The Virgin Mary is the mother of Jesus, the Son of God, the Father. She is the mother of God because Jesus is God the Son. In addition, Jesus was conceived in her womb by the work of God, the Holy Spirit. The union of the Holy Spirit with Mary is the hypostatic union of God with men, in which God executes his divine designs in the second creation of humanity in grace, where Jesus and Mary are the new Adam and the new Eve. Through our first parents, Adam and Eve, we are all children of sin and born with original sin. The Virgin Mary was free from original sin by special grace of God who wanted to come to dwell among men and could only come into a holy womb like hers. The Blessed Virgin is the tabernacle of the divinity, the throne of the Holy Trinity, Mother of God and Mother of all humanity, conceived in the grace of Christ our Savior. As the mother of Jesus, Mary was perfect mother, giving example to all mothers. As our mother, Jesus appointed her at the foot of the cross as the new Eve, the one who conceived us in the bitterness of her immaculate heart. As the mother of Jesus, Mary was faithful until the death of her son whom she offered to God on Mount Calvary, and thus she rose herself this way to become the mother of faith. Abraham also offered his son as a burnt offering, but at the last moment the angel told him not to carry out the sacrifice, and thus he was justified in faith, and is called the father of faith. The Virgin Mary was perfect in everything even in surrendering her Son to the Eternal Father as a sacrifice for the forgiveness of our sins. This reaffirmed her as the co-redemptrix of humanity. In Mary, we all have a faithful mother who accompanies us throughout our lives, an advocate who defends us before God and help us to achieve salvation a tender mother that does not cease to favor us with her grace, of which she is full. The Virgin Mary, in her eagerness to obtain our salvation and to take us out of sin, has come to the world through apparitions and messages, giving us the weapon to combat the devil, the Holy Rosary. Our devotions to the Virgin Mary bring us ever closer to Jesus, for she is like a factory where the saints of God are made. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother Immaculate, bless us and purify us in your holiness, innocence, piety, and devotion, in your purity, humility, and all your virtues and holy tears. Take us by the hand to your Son Jesus, Pray for our sinners, Mother of God, Mother of Jesus, our Mother. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Please give us a like and leave your comments. If you're not subscribed to our channel, please do so now. Help us to spread the word of God. God bless.